Thank you, Miss Patty. Now we are going to have story time with Miss Puffy. <laughs> Daniel was 
was captured and taken to Babylon, King Nebuchadnezzar's palace. And the Bible tells us that in the palace, the king wanted Daniel to eat all the fancy food. And Daniel would not eat all that stuff. He knew it wasn't really good for him. He knew it would make his body sick and his mind weak and he wouldn't be able to stay faithful to God. That's the most important thing, right? Daniel had to be very brave, though, to go to the king and tell him he just wanted to eat the food that God made. That was very brave because the king didn't like it. Ooh, he would have Daniel killed. But then God blessed Daniel's faithfulness and the king gave him permission to eat a plant-based vegan diet. Have you ever heard that before? <laughs> you have. All right, that's a diet made of all kinds of fruits, vegetables, greens, beans, whole grains, nuts and seeds and berries and all kinds of wonderful things that God made. And there's so many things that you can make with these dishes. Oh, you're going to have some at lunch today. Amazing things that you can make with all those wonderful foods that God made. And Jesus is, said the same food he gave to Daniel is the food he wants us to eat. He does. Daniel would not eat all the meats and sugary cakes on the king's table because he knew it would make him stupid. And it does. It makes him tired and stupid. And, you know. So he didn't want that, so he stayed true to God. But today we have food that's even worse. Worse than the king's food. Mmm. Junk food. No, we don't want to be stupid. Junk food is so empty calories you can eat it until it comes out of your ears. But it's not going to happen. Some food at the grocery store is very bad for you too, believe it or not. You have to read the labels on all the packages. Get used to doing that, okay? Because some of the labels are so filled with chemicals and words you can't even pronounce, and it's not even really food. It fools you, right? But God's ingredients, Simple. What's an apple made of? Apple. That's it. You got it. So God's food is the very best. And when you're in the store, try to only buy food that's good for you. Stay away from the sugary cereals. It's probably healthier to eat the box. <laughs> It's better to pick nice plain cereal that's good with good healthy ingredients. You can find it there if you read your labels. And it's also best to stay away from all those sugar foods if you can because it, it really makes kids of all ages, us too, it, it makes us sick. Don't be sad because God has something much better for you. God made an abundance of sweet, delicious fruits of all kinds for you to enjoy. That's God's real wonderful dessert. He also told us not to eat meat for protein because that causes you to be sickly. And you know the animals that the meat comes from? They eat grass and vegetables. So if they can grow on big, strong and on grass and vegetables, why do we need to eat them when we can eat the grass and vegetables ourselves, right? We can do it. Greens, vegetables, grains, nuts and seeds, all that stuff makes us strong and healthy. And all we
always use the best ingredients when you cook for your family. That that's the that's what Daniel would have done. He would have served everybody the very best ingredients because he loved them so much. Jesus said, He's with you always, and he's very pleased when you choose to eat the food he lovingly made for us. Okay? Should we thank Jesus for the food he, he made for us? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessing of the Sabbath. May you help us eat the food that you created for us. Amen. Amen. Amen.